we're in a new era, which is exciting in that we have targeted therapies that work in specific subtypes of disease. So in, with an antibody drug conjugate, you are by definition targeting an, a protein on the surface of the cell, and tumors that don't express that cell surface antigen are not going to be suitable um, for that drug. So we're already limited to the spectrum of lymphomas that express CD30 on their surface. Hodgkin's lymphoma classically does have CD30 on its surface, and in the clinical trials, the uh, patient population that we were looking at was largely patients who had failed prior autologous transplant. We cured the majority of patients with Hodgkin's lymphoma with our initial therapy. So cure rates remain, remain 80 to 85 percent, even with advanced stage disease. So the challenge with new drugs in the arena of Hodgkin's lymphoma is can we maintain those high cure rates and eliminate some of the drugs that have been associated with toxicity. Right now, with the approval, rentuximab vodotin is being utilized in patients where our standard curative att uh, attempts have failed. And that thankfully is a minority of patients, but for those patients this has been really a potentially life-altering addition to our armament. What we will see in the next few years is the attempts to integrate this drug into our upfront therapy. And so one of the efforts that's underway at our own center in older patients is to do just that, to use brentuximab vitotin in untreated elderly patients with Hodgkin's lymphoma.